Yo, this is Go Crashing Finale. Subscribe to me up there, like down there, comment down there. This video should be something like why Wade Barrett's push is a fail, has failed because he's become the Intercontinental Champion, something like that, okay? And I'll explain it to you now. This, t so, um, yesterday on Monday, on Friday Night Smackdown, he won the Intercontinental Championship of Kobe Kingston. This is his first title reign in WWE, but it also has increased the core's ever growing power over the Blue Band brand. On most occasions, winning your first Intercontinental Championship would be considered the sign of a push. For Barrett, however, it is the sign of a failed one. Roughly one year ago, Wade Barrett made his debut on the first season of WWE NXT. From the moment he arrived, you could already tell that he had the potential for greatness in the company. Towering above the other rookies, Barrett seemed to come across as a complete package, with a deep British accent that commanded attention and a villainous appearance and decent ring work as well. Barrett stood out among, among his counterparts as someone who could easily become the next big WWE superstar. It wasn't just the WWE Universe and the YWC that fought this, it was also WWE management. They paired him up with the, the current, at that time, the current world champion who is the greatest, one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, Chris Jericho. And Wade Barrett ended up winning season one. So if they're going to pair him up with Chris Jericho, you know that they definitely like the look of him. And then came the Nexus, led by Barrett himself. This group of former season one rookies made their presence felt on June the 7th 2010 edition of Monday Night Raw which was the viewers choice night by attacking John Cena. These attacks continued for months not only making the stable a force to be feared and reckoned with but establishing Barrett as a top hill on Monday night. Nexus was eventually be defeated as a group at SummerSlam but the focus would soon turn into a feud between Cena and Barrett himself. In a one-on-one -on -one match at Hell in a Cell, Cena lost to Barrett and became his personal slave in the process. It was at this point Barrett solidified himself as the top heel on Monday Night Raw. With Cena at his disposal, he began to look for a new conquest the WWE Championship. However, for reasons unknown to myself and to many people in the World WC, Barrett failed to win the WWE Championship at both Bragging Rights and Survivor Series. The aftermath? The Miz. The Miz became the WWE Champion the following night after Survivor Series. Cena, now a free man, a liberated Barrett one month later at TLC. What had looked so promising in October was destroyed by December. Wade Barrett wasn't going to win the WWE Championship or become a main event at any time soon. And at this point, they were talking about that the, the plan was to have Barrett versus The Undertaker. And soon this started to evaporate. So, here we are, a few months later... Wade Barrett is still running around with Justin I'm bumming Kelly Kelly Gabriel and Heath Slater and he still can't win a match himself. So what's the difference between what he's doing in 2010 in comparison to now? In 2010 he was a dominant leader of a large stable everyone hated known as the Nexus. His group feuded with main eventers on Monday Night Raw and he was consistently getting world title shots. In 2011, he is the de, de facto leader of a small group nobody cares about, known as the Core. His group feuds with middle card 
middle carders on Friday Night Smackdown and he was given the secondary title. It's amazing how four months ago, Ray Barrett was being proclaimed as the next big main event hill. Now his spot has been replaced by The Miz, Alberto Del Rio and CM Punk. And he is nothing but a cowardly middle carder leading the re rehashed leftovers of a now dead hill stable. I personally think it's very disappointing because I also believe it is safe to make it official. WWE have dropped the ball with Wade Barrett and his main event push has failed. And this is like the Bing Jack Swagger all over again. I like both of them. I think they're really good wrestlers. And I don't see what WWE's doing. And uh, if you're in England like me, I think we're going to have to wait quite a bit until we see the first world Brit British world champion. I'm Skull Crashing Gnarly. Finale. Add me on Skype, Go Crashing Finale. Look at my WWE Fantasy League game. I've created that and the draft will be next week. So please, please do that. And follow me on Twitter, Skull Crashing Finale. Thank you and good night. Peace out.